Miss Gordon, will you send in the little boy now, please? Mr. Benny, oh. this is Jimmy Evans. He's been in pictures and on television. Oh, hello, Jimmy. Hi. Sit down. Thank you. Now, Jimmy, you know the part that I'm casting, do you? Yes, sir. I'm supposed to play the part of you when you were a little boy. That's right. That's exactly it. And I'll bet you'll be wonderful in it. Thank you. Naturally, before we sign the contract, we would have to discuss salary, you see. Is your uh, mother or father here with you? No, sir. They're not here. Oh. Oh, they're not, I see. <laughs> well, there you are. <laughs> now, uh, Jimmy, as to salary... You'll have to discuss that with my agent. <laughs> Wait a minute. You have an agent? Yes, sir. And he's here with me. Your agent is here with you? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Gordon, will you please send in Jimmy's agent? This way, sir. <laughs> you? You're Jimmy's agent? Yes, sir, the name is Harry Johnson. Now, how do you do, Mr. Johnson? You sit over there. I'll take over now. <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs> well, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> now, Mr. Benny, I understand you want to use my client on one of your television shows. That's right. That's right, I do. He's supposed to play me as a little boy. And, uh... Now, you being his agent, uh, what do you think I should pay him? I mean, what do you think would be a fair salary? $2,000. $2,000? You still think I'm cute? <laughs> Don't stand there bleeding. Say something. <laughs> well, wait a minute. I think... $2,000 is a lot of money. Well, he's been in television all his life. All his life? I was born on the medic program. <laughs> oh, I still think that $2,000 is too much money. Well, that's his salary. You know, these kids can't live on lollipops. <laughs> well, now, wait a minute. In the first place, I don't think the part is big enough to pay $2,000. Well, while you're thinking, do you mind if I look over the clauses in the contract? <laughs> no. No, I heard you're somewhere. Let's see. Oh, here. Thank you. There it is, right there. <laughs> hmm. What's the matter? Same old legal mumbo-jumbo. Now, Mr. Benny, I'd like to add a few things to this contract. Yeah? Anytime my client rehearses for over four hours, I want him paid time and a half. Time and a half? And should rehearsal go beyond six o'clock, then you have to pay for his dinner. What are you talking about? Also taxi fare to and from the studio. <laughs> now, wait a minute. First, you want $2,000 for this kid's appearance. Then you want me to pay overtime, and then his food, and his taxi bill. Well, let me tell you something. You're the most grasping, greedy, conniving, miserly person I've ever met. Well. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. We can't do any business here. You overdid it. No, I didn't. Come on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. I just thought of something. Miss Gordon, will you please come in and witness the signing of a contract? You see, you gotta be rough with these guys. <laughs> well, Miss Gordon, I found the fella to play me as a little boy. Well, congratulations, Jimmy. No, not him. Him. <laughs> Wow.
on. Kim, are you sure you've cast the right boy? Am I sure? Why, this kid could be my own flesh and blood. 